There are stupid web videos. And then there are scientific breakthroughs. And once in a great while, you get both at the same time. A scientific sensation that really rocks. Meet Snowball. The 13-year-old dancing cockatoo. He jams to the Backstreet Boys. Grooves to Lady Gaga. And even gets down to German polka. But he's not just a top billing internet sensation with almost four million hits. He's also become a flyaway star of science. It happened when he danced into the inboxes of Ani Patel and John Everson at the Neurosciences Institute in San Diego. I was just utterly transfixed. I mean, I'd never seen anything like it in my life. I was laughing, I was amazed. I yeah, thought, wow, this yeah. is fantastic. They decided to conduct a little experiment with the viral video. We turned off the sound and just coded frame by frame the head bobs, Snowball's head bobs, to get a timing of his rhythm. And then we went back, extracted the timing of the musical beats, and saw how the head bobs and the beats lined up using the scientific measurements of synchronization. Now, I know you're a hardcore neurobiologist, but did you dissolve into giggles every so often? <laughs> you know, Snowball never ceased to amaze us. Yeah. It seemed like every video that we got of Snowball, he had a new type of movement going on. It's not that we spend our days looking at YouTube videos for funny pet tricks. Yeah, right. We um, are interested in how humans move to music and why we move to music. <laughs> Snowball is groundbreaking because he was the first non-human animal to be documented as dancing to a synchronized beat. Eric Jarvis is a neurobiologist at Duke University. Many animals will respond to uh, music. Uh, dogs will start running around in circles when they see everybody around dancing. But no other animal other than human has been shown to actually keep to a rhythm. So. When Snowball was found to have this ability, uh, it threw a lot of people through a loop. Jarvis says Snowball is helping to redefine avian intelligence. All these things that people are saying unique to humans, we keep finding in birds. Crows can make tools. In laboratory tests, pigeons can even distinguish between a Monet and a Picasso. In fact, Jarvis says the term bird brain is actually a compliment. That's what really fascinated us, like, how can a small brain like this do what a chimpanzee can't? Patel and Everson believe that Snowball can dance because of something that we share with cockatoos. <coughs> the ability to speak. We have to map sound and movement together constantly as part of speaking. And we thought maybe that's the foundation upon which moving to a beat builds in the brain. And if that's true, then you'd only ever see this ability in those kinds of animals. You'd never see it in a dog or a cat or a chimp. In fact, you couldn't train them to do it no matter how hard you tried because they don't have the right kind of brain to do it. You'd only see it in a parrot or a songbird or a dolphin or an animal that has that kind of brain circuitry that connects sound and movement. Of course, Snowball doesn't let all this attention go to his head. Well, maybe his crest has gotten a little cockier as of late. Since Snowball's YouTube video was posted in 2007, he's winged it on over 50 TV shows and in four scientific papers. He's got his own Facebook page. He's even hawked tacos. You might say his celebrity has snowballed. Snowball, would you stab? I don't think so. Irina Schultz calls herself Snowball's assistant. She runs Bird Lovers Only, a sanctuary in Northwest Indiana. I think Snowball was born to be a star. But Snowball might not want to rest on his tail feathers because a fleet-footed cockatoo from California named Frosty has been practicing his moves. Who says white guys can't dance? <laughs>